As if to rub salt into the wound, there's another Japanese car that's just taken off in the States. This little sports car has thrown California into a real tizzy. It's Mazda's MX-5, or Miata as they call it out here. Came out last March, and now everybody wants one. People are queuing up to get their name on the list. It's all about California's love of nostalgia. The ad for this car says it takes you into the 90s and back. They might have added back to the carefree British sports cars of the 50s and 60s, because that's where it came from. Indeed, the behind-the-scenes story of this car is quite extraordinary. An American working at Mazda's West Coast Design Studios and passionate about the premature demise of the old two-seat British ragtop spent ten years persuading the gurus at Mazda to recreate it. And that really is where the MX-5 has come from. So it's rounded rather than wedge-shaped in the current idiom, it's front rather than mid-engined, and it's conventional rear-wheel driven. This is not a copy of the MR2, it's a dead ringer for the old Lotus Elan. And in terms of length and weight, it's really just a whisker away from the old MGB and the TR6, who are its real ancestors. The engine is a de-turboed version of one of those used in the 323, which gives a brisk rather than exciting performance. 0 to 6 in about 9 seconds, top speed about 115 miles an hour. Certainly not a purist sports car because it's far too refined, but I think it'll sell like takeaway pizzas when it gets to the UK, because it's everything you want in a sports car. They like to drive, it's fun, it's uh, very forgiving, above all it's affordable. I only wish it were British. Now, despite the modern attractions of the small and the beautiful and the current pressures for conservation of energy, it's only a few years since gas guzzlers were king here in the States. Size and power of engine were everything, real status symbols, in fact. And although now we see them as automotive dinosaurs, many people here lament their passing. So, like classic cars in the UK, they've become major collector's items. Becky Adam has been...